Hello students, uh, I am making this video particularly for uh, B.Tech graduates uh, who have recently completed their B.Tech and uh, so many people are coming to me what I have to do after my B.Tech otherwise there are so many mails and so many Facebook uh, uh, messages saying that what we can do after B.Tech so with whatever knowledge I have uh, I have uh, jotted out some points uh, which are some possibilities there might be other possibilities also but whatever I have uh, jotted out are the possibilities which I know and which are there in my spectrum range okay so uh, one, one thing what you people can do after B.Tech is one thing I can prefer is higher education which means you can go for M.Tech otherwise you can do MBA uh, you can go for MS otherwise MS plus PhD programs this M.Tech uh, you can uh, write gate exam. You all know you might you all might have written gate exam. Uh, if you are qualified, uh, if you are qualified with good marks, then you can choose very good institute. Why? Because if you want to do masters, you have to do masters in good institutes only. If you don't, if you are not, I mean, uh, if you are not doing it in good good institute, again it will be a problem for you. So uh, if you if you are, if you didn't get any good rank, then you go for gate exam why because if you are interested in higher education only you can sit for gate coaching again and get good rank and then only you join good institutes then the future will be very good so this this for mtech then mba mba is like mba is also good sir after engineering mba is good or not it is good why because companies are looking for technical managers technical managers means who has technical knowledge on the domain as well as who has marketing skills or managerial skills the combination will be very good so people who wants to do MBA yes it is a good option why because technical plus managerial skills skills is always required in the industry then MS so if you want to go into foreign uh, foreign universities uh, then you can write GRE, TOEFL, IELTS there are so many where uh, you can I mean counselors will be there in the on uh, online uh, you can ask them so that uh, you can write those exams and you can go for MS and there is a one more there is one more program called MS plus PhD it is also there in the India so basically what I have heard is uh, students who are having 8 plus CGPA and uh, who are gate qualified can directly apply this MS plus PhD it, it will be for 5 years okay uh, which might be covering 2 years of your uh, masters and 5 years of your research this is also a very good option uh, if you have time uh, with you then this, this is also a good option then coming to next sector, uh, people who are interested into, uh, in government sectors like people want to go in PSUs or uh, uh, they, they wanted to go into BHEL, uh, there are so many institutes are there, PSUs are there. So if you want to enter into any PSU, GATE rank is must, GATE qualification is must. So people who, who want to go into government companies or government sectors or PSUs, okay, you have to get some good GATE rank. So people who didn't attempt gate rank are people who didn't get good gate rank. They can go for gate coaching. Otherwise, uh, some people might want to do engineering services. So IES coaching will be there. So you can go for gate or IES coaching and you can attempt these exams for better future. Then coming to next stage. There are uh, like embedded, I'm speaking in terms of EC. I, I am from ECE background. So I'm telling uh, in terms of uh, ECE. There are some diploma courses in the market uh, like uh, CDAC is uh, giving. So the diploma courses will be on VHDL or VLSI and embedded system. There are other courses also. Okay, If you want to have, uh, if you want to do any one year PG diploma course, then you can uh, search in the website. There are some PG diploma courses where you get certification for whatever work you have done. So you can go for PG diploma in co uh, courses in core areas, which means embedded systems are VLSI. So this is one more option where you people can go and pursue. Then one more option is training in core areas. There are some institutes in Bangalore, Hyderabad or whatever, wherever uh, you are. Okay, if you are in Delhi also, <coughs> these institutes are there. If you want to take training in these, like VSDL or embedded systems or any other course, you can go to those institutions. But what I tell you is don't go blindly like your friends are going there. So you are also going there. It's not that case. Okay. What you have to do is you have to go to that particular website. If some particular uh, particular company A is uh, providing a course uh, training session, what you can do is you can go to their website. You check what contents they are providing you. If they are just providing whatever is there in the textbook, 
then it's not necessary okay so what you have to do is you just check the course content you just check what training time they are giving and what is the project time what kind of projects they are giving are they giving you any real time projects or not this is all you have to check in the website if it is not in the website then what you can do is there will be a mail id or phone number you can contact them directly and you can ask this question how many practical hours are there per day or per week why because theory anyone can learn from anywhere from textbooks also you can learn only thing is practicality the coding and all you need to practice a lot if you if you practice only you will get to know what uh, how the situations should be handled so what you can ask them is the course content how many weeks program or how many months program it is and every day or every, uh, in a week how many hours practical are there and then one more question what you have to ask is the project in the in the uh, in the end of the program you might be doing a project is that project is a real time project or not sometimes they tell real project but some uh, academic project only they'll do why i am telling this is uh, uh, the institutions like this uh, might be having contacts with the companies the companies might be having some clients those clients will be giving the problems if you are working on those problems then it will fetch you something in the future okay so what you people need to ask is these four points then only you go and join okay and pricing also you take care uh, in bangalore the cost is more in hyderabad the cost is less only thing is what you have to see is the course content as well as the project what you are doing on okay and placement assistance there is no uh, guarantee in the market placement assistance is there it's okay okay so this is one area which uh, where most of the people are going so do some survey regarding this and join then then there are, like you all know uh, you all might be having um, you all might be knowing about iot it is nothing but internet of things and it is if you can search on the web also by 2020 so many billions of uh, uh, sensors are attached to all the industry like industries if you see um mm, agricultural sectors or uh, any um, any 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 industry for the name any industry people are uh, installing the sensors and the data is being collected from the sensors for optimized operations okay now iot is in boom and iot if you attach it with artificial intelligence why i am telling this is iot is nothing but internet of things where there are so many sensors in so many sectors all the information is gathered that is nothing but data is gathered at one place what you need to do why we are doing all these things means we need to do some analytics part on it so that optimized decision can be taken by such uh, su uh, su uh, some certain seg uh, sector okay now in order to make a decision uh, is data analytics if you want to do okay then uh, if you have artificial intelligence and iot combination that would be a good uh, good uh, equation with you people okay then for that purpose there are languages like python r matlab c c++ and java these are the main uh, uh, software languages which you should know why because the next point what i am telling is there are companies uh, as i already said i am i am towards ece so i have named the companies also ece companies like qualcomm broadcom mathworks there are so many in vlsi sector also there are so many other companies are there once you go to their website and if you see the job specification what what you can observe is i commonly observe uh, matlab c c++ and java these languages should be known to any engineer who wants to apply to these companies it's not only these companies so many companies are asking about this anyways matlab is there c and c++ you have learned java is also there in some universities okay so what you can do is before applying to any company you be strong in these software programs if you are strong in these software programs then you have if if you have good technical knowledge then you can directly place into these companies yes i i, I can understand that the bigger companies you need to have reference from someone uh, what you can do is your seniors or the, your neighbors or someone might be working in those companies you just uh, my suggestion is you join linkedin okay otherwise you follow quora or you be on facebook in technical pages okay if you are there then people are there uh, who can help you okay you can ask them reference otherwise your seniors your alumni will be there who will be working in this core companies you just ping them you talk to them see once a uh, btech student comes out he needs to talk a lot he needs to do some survey why because you should not take decision what your friend is taking 
uh, again and again i'm telling okay you don't take decision by uh, mob okay you take your own decision by doing some proper survey uh, go to market like in the website as i already said linkedin uh, so many professionals are there you can ask them you can ask their time and you can call them you can talk to them so that they give the suggestions okay experience suggestions will help you a lot so as i already said these languages are very very important you just brush up the basics whenever you are applying to these companies and mathworks is also great mathworks is purely on matlab people who are good at matlab and c language they can up for, apply for uh, mathworks uh, these mathworks people uh, they have a certain criteria like uh, you you should be like uh, application support engineer job is there let us suppose in that application support engineer job what uh, what they uh, their testing will be like this uh, if if you are good at communications and control systems okay they will give you four to five subjects you have to choose two subjects among those four or five and they give you this three uh, these four languages among these four languages again you have to choose two so if you clear uh, the online exam which is based on two software languages and two technical uh, lang uh, technical uh, subjects then you are uh, directly placed into the technical round which is an interview round there you can uh, you can prove your metal okay if you have good technical knowledge and if you have good programming knowledge then you can get the jobs so these are the companies and there are so many other companies who require these softwares so uh, be prepared for these things and then python and r will help you in data analytics and all okay even matlab will help you in that next next thing is networking courses ccna okay networking courses uh, basically cisco people are uh, going to give the trainings and all and cisco people if you if you do some ccna course there are so many other courses which i, I also don't know but Uh, there are some certified courses which are given by cisco if you do if you are interested towards networking okay you might have re uh, read in your fourth year computer networks and all so if you are uh, in, if you are interested towards networking then what you can do is this networking courses are available which are given by cisco which are certified courses you can go for those certified courses and then you can apply jobs to networking companies not only cisco there are so many other companies who are working on networking side so you can do that also this is one more option what uh, you can choose then coming to this uh, nowadays like from past 8 uh, years 5 to 8 years uh, in india also there are so many startups so uh, these startups are basically working on biomedical uh, image processing and signal processing iot agri tech is one thing which is coming up and then artificial intelligence and there are so many so what i can uh, suggest to you is you people can uh, uh, look out for companies uh, which are just started up and if you go there if you apply then there are high chances of getting into those companies if you have good knowledge about technicality and co programming there are there are there are equal chance I mean, there are good chances you can place in those startups don't think about salary at this age what i can suggest to engineering students is you are still at 21 okay you can experiment with yourself for 2 to 3 years okay in this 2 to 3 years what i suggest is don't waste your time a time in other things you spend your time uh, uh, in in this kind of companies or in this kind of courses so that you get a job first what i suggest is you get a job salary is other criteria in core jobs you don't know uh, the payment will be less in the initial stages but once the experience is coming then you you will get good salaries so i what i mean is don't think about salary at this point of time only thing is get your basics get your fundamentals properly get your programming uh, fundamentals properly and get placed in a company which is of course side okay so there are so many startups who requires uh, engineers okay you people can uh, apply uh, through internet then there are there are concepts like internship and apprenticeship in uh, uh, government agencies or in private agencies also okay so you can go for internships or apprenticeships also okay it will be uh, from 3 months to 6 months or uh, some internships will be for 1 year okay this will help you okay internships also will help you why because if you have good knowledge whatever in whichever company you are working if you have good knowledge then with that knowledge you can all, uh, obviously place in other companies or same company people can also acquire why because they have seen you for 3 uh, months or 6 months or 1 year this is also one good opportunity okay internships will be placed in the website anything google is there okay you search there otherwise you can ask in linkedin people are there otherwise you can put in comment section okay in the youtube comments you can put i can help whatever i know i can help you people then 
uh, we have okay some people might be interested in research okay what you people can do is uh, uh, you can go to some uh, iits or iims and all okay uh, if you are interested towards technology and all what you can do you can search for the professors and uh, if if you go to any website any academic website uh, there will be faculty section in that faculty section which faculty is there what are their research areas will be clearly given okay and their mail ids and sometimes phone numbers all also will be given what you can do is you might be interested in some image processing you might be interested in communications you might be interested in signal processing you can i mean you can sort those professors and their mail ids and you can write mails to them saying that i wanted to do some internship program if you provide okay some projects will be there under those professors right if you uh, if some professor responds you then you are in good hands why because you can go there okay you can work on the projects at the same time you can prepare for gate and if, if you get good rank then he can take you for ms the phd program so this is also one option people who are interested in research okay then uh, like last thing is uh, some people might have done good projects in mini or in major okay uh, what you people can do is whatever project you have done Uh, uh or otherwise i can call that as prototype if the prototype is working well and if it is a good solution to the problems which are there in the market then what you people can do is there will be so many conferences happening okay uh, like pitching they call pitching idea pitching okay if you go with the idea and prototype and if you pitch your idea uh, there will be inf- investors who are sitting in that uh, conference rooms okay if they like your idea and if they see that your prototype is giving uh, good results Uh, what they people those people can do is uh, they can fund your uh, company okay you can start up your own company itself instead of doing all these things if you have a good idea otherwise if you have good prototype with you then what you can do is you go and pitch your idea at whatever conferences are happening throughout okay then investors can show interest in you and they can fund your company that is also very good thing which is happening uh, nowadays okay you people uh, can take this also as an opportunity then coming to software courses i am not aware about uh, what software courses are there in the market so what uh, whatever courses or whatever uh, um, any anything if you want to do you just make a survey and you make linkedin profiles their professionals will be there you can talk to them okay you can talk and then only you take the decision don't go by your friends are going or if your uh, someone in your neighbors or someone in your uh, uh, relatives have said you if i have asked you to do the course don't do that way okay what you can do is do some survey okay everything is available on internet okay so you do some survey and then only you join and one more thing what i am uh, observing from parents side is what students have said me uh, they ask students to go to hyderabad why because bangalore or delhi is uh, uh, delhi's cost of living is more most of them are uh, going uh, want to go to bangalore why because the facilities are good the opportunities are good in bangalore but parents are telling that the cost of living is more see one thing i can tell you cost of living is only for family people it's not for students okay students they can go and stay in rooms which would be costing around 6000 or 7000 per month where you will be getting your breakfast uh, lunch and dinner okay so don't go by that cost of living the name cost of living is for family cost of living is not for students the cost will be around per i mean per month if you go and stay and if you do, if you are doing some courses it will be around 10 to 12000 per month and if you are good and if you don't want to spend some money it will come around 8000 or 9000 with all the costs so what i can tell you is do some survey okay uh, get knowledge about it you spend one more month one month or two months you spend on it get the suggestions and then only do anything if you have uh, any sort of doubts you can put it in the comment section uh, i can help you whatever uh, extent i can help thank you